This content is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be updating to the latest atmosphere, which is right now 1.10.0 and Hecate 6.4.1 in support of the latest switch firmware, which is right now 21.0.0. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is open up the SD card that we're using on the switch. And it doesn't matter how you're opening up the SD card, as long as you're able to transfer your files successfully. Right now I'm using the Hecate SD card tools. It is pretty reliable and you don't have to take out the SD card. You can just access the SD card through the USB from switch to PC. So with the SD card open, it also doesn't matter if you're starting fresh or if you have already a previous version of CFW, this video will work for both. But now that you have the SD card open, we can move it to the side and we can download the two zip files that we have here for today. In the description, there's going to be several links. And the first link that we're gonna to wanna to click on is the one that says, click here to download the other side AMS 1.10.0. Once you click on that link, it should take you to this release uh, page for my github and here we're going to see uh, this page and we're going to just scroll down and click on this one link right here to start the download process and then you can move it to the desktop like I have done already so as you can see here uh, on my description I just put support for 21.00 I did also update my two apps they do exactly the same thing but 21.00 did break a lot of CFW well, on the side of CFW and a lot of devs have to uh, re-update their apps to work with this new firmware. So this causes a lot of problems that I'll explain later on in the video. But um, if you were to use my apps, my previous apps on the newest version, it, Atmosphere will now tell you that it's not compatible and you could experience issues in which people were having some crashing, including myself. So now that doesn't happen with the two apps that I have created. So they will be added into this pack. But the next thing that we're going to do in the description is click on the link for the Hecate and the same thing. Click here to download the Hecate 6.4.1. Once you click on the link, we'll take you to the release page of this version uh, of my pack. And it says here support for 21.00. Just go ahead and click on the link in the assets tab and move it to the desktop like I have done already. Okay, so now that we have the two zip files that we need for today, we can then go back into the SD card. And before we start extracting, we're gonna wanna go ahead and delete the atmosphere folder and the bootloader folder. And for those of you that have questions about this, because a lot of people don't like to do this, I like to delete the atmosphere folder and the bootloader folder because it minimizes as much issues that you might have when you're updating CFW. So some people will have, when they replace over the old, that will cause issues with older CFW and you may experience crashing. Also, if you have any type of sys modules inside the contents folder that you can, that are not working with the latest firmware in this case, which is 21.00, these modules will not work and you will experience crashing. So what I like to do is delete the atmosphere folder and the bootloader folder, and we it, we should have less issues, hopefully. But it's okay to delete those because my packs do come with, you know, the basic things that you need, and and we should be good to go. Also, the, the latest atmosphere, well, the latest firmware broke a lot of the CFW side, so there's the this atmosphere has to be heavily ev um, edited in order for uh, to work properly on the switch right now. So it's good to delete this uh, atmosphere folder and bootloader. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. I'm gonna highlight both of them and delete. The others can be replaced because um, they're. They're not as important from control for controlling the CFW. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. I don't have a lot of time to do this recording. So let's start with the atmosphere. Um, I always use a seven zip to extract my files. So if you want to follow along with me, I'll have down a uh, seven zip to download in the description as well. So with seven zip, I'm going to open the archive here. We can see the files that we have in this zip 
we can highlight all the files and then extract them to the root of the SD card. And the root is the beginning of your SD card and make sure you don't drop it into any of the folders. So I'm gonna put it down here and let it uh, extract over. Now it says here that you have files with the same names. These are okay to replace. They're not that important when um, updating to new CFW. So now that we extracted the atmosphere, we can now extract the Hecate. Same thing with 7-zip, open the archive. I like both of these folders or files, both, and extract them to the root of the SD card. Same thing, if you experience the same file destination, just replace it. And that's usually the payload.bin. So that's pretty much it. Now we should be updated with the latest atmosphere, 1.10.0, and you should now have support for 21.00 switch firmware, which we're going to try later on in this video. But now that we're done with the SD card, you can go ahead and test it out. But before I do that, I'll just let you know that uh, with the Hecate, I changed the Hecate uh, bin file to just payload.bin. And when you extract it to the root of your SD card, that usually helps those that have mod chips. If the mod chip is looking for the payload.bin for Hecate, that's how it boots back into Hecate. So that's why I did it that way. Also, I changed the Hecate bin file into Atmosphere. So that way, those of you that have a, a non moriko device, when you try to reboot to payload, it will go back into Hecate for you. And so that way, everybody that uses my Quick Reboot um, app, everybody can go back into Hecate, or it should. And that's pretty much it. In the switch folder, well, we have all these <laughs> from my previous CFW. A lot of things will not work, including DBI, which I'll be showing later on, and the AL switch updater, which is very upsetting to me. But well, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So we got the quick reboot and the title ID, and I'll explain that when we get back on the switch. But just wanted to let you know that's what I did. Right now, we are done with the switch or the SD card and we can now go ahead and test it out. So I'm going to go ahead and eject. Okay, so I forgot to mention that um, that payload.bin file, you can also move it to your desktop and use it with the RCM loader or the Tegra RCM if you have an older switch device. Of course, if you have the Mariko devices, you can just, you know, turn on the switch. Or if you're already in the Hecate, you can just go back in and everything will be already updated. But however the case, once you get back into Hecate, it'll look like this. It should say 6.4.1 on the top. I know it's blurry, but this is just for reference for you. And all you need to do next is if you use Emu MMC, you can check to see if you have it activated. And if it's disabled, you can go ahead and try and re-enable it. It's hard to do it backwards. But if you're ready to go, you can just go ahead and click on launch. And then you have all these options available for you. The first option is for OFW. And that is for a regular uh, switch without any type of CFW. And the second one is Atmosphere Sysnand. This and the next one, Emu uh, Atmosphere Emu MMC. These two will be using Fusey.bin in order to access the Atmosphere CFW. And the last two will be the Package 3 that some people use with uh, editing with Hecate. Now I added all these options here because for some people it works with Fusey Bin, for others it works with Package 3 and vice versa. So I just went ahead and added all of them. I did test them all out and they are all working for me, but I like to use the Fusey Bin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it and let it boot in. Should not have any issues. No crashing. Okay, so hopefully you made it back to the switch home menu like I have with no issues and you should be good to go. But here we can check to see if we are actually updated. If you go into system settings and go down into system and right under system update, you can see that my current version is 21.00 with AMS 1.10.0 with an S. Now I have an S because I'm using my CFW and Sysnand. If you have an E, you're using yours on Emu MMC. Now, hopefully yours says the same. Um, with my packs, I always add the blocking feature for uh, Nintendo servers. So you should not accidentally update. But so I can show you, if I click on system update, it should fail. So there you go. 
because I have that uh, active blockers on. And if you want to remove that, you can let me know and I can help you out uh, in the comments below. But now that we have that, we can go ahead and do its final test. Now, if everything is working like it should, you should be able to go into the HB menu either with a title override or with a folder. If you have a folder, that would be the easiest thing to test if everything's working fine. So I'm going to go ahead and enter it. If you're interested in my folder here, uh, you can leave a comment and I'll try to help you out as best as I can. But here we go. We entered the HP menu. That means everything is good to go. But I wanted to talk about this uh, as we end off on this video. Unfortunately, my modded version of the AIO switch updater is going to have to take some time uh, to redo because if you see those big letters right in the middle of the screen, it says this application does not support the current ABI and you can expect compatibility issues, which is true. Uh, so a lot of these apps will say these things like DBI is also having it. It will work, but for some reason, sometimes it will crash on you when it's trying to do something. And that could cause a lot of issues with, you know, with your CFW and you might have to redo everything all over again. So that also includes my app here. So this will be the last time or well, the last firmware will be the last time that you would have used my eradicating love installer. I'm not going to update it. DBI is a whole lot better in this case or well, in the future. So RIP this app, but I did update my quick reboot. So you can see that it doesn't have those uh, red markings and it is updated for compatibility. I also changed the version. It didn't change what it does, but it also does uh, change it. It also uh, updates the overlay. So if you're using Ultra Hand, then uh, it should work for you just fine. And the title ID lister has been updated as well. It doesn't have those red markings. So it's unfortunate. And for those of you that um, use a lot of my AL Switch Updater app, then um, it's going to take me some time to rebuild and remod this app so that way it can look for my files. Um, I did this a long time ago, so I don't know <laughs> how to do it again at the moment. And I don't have any saved files on it. So it did take me a good uh, maybe a day or two in order to do this. And unfortunately, it has to be when I'm on a day off. And that's not anytime soon. Most likely next week around Wednesday or Thursday. But yeah, everything seems to be working on my end. Title should work just fine too. And also, if you're seeing this and you notice that I did not have any issues while I'm on Wi-Fi, uh, that's because you have to edit uh, the atmosphere system settings or the use the link, link Aldo. I don't know how it's called to unlink your account. I didn't want to do that. So I chose the different option, which I'll explain in a different video. But I'm able to do all of my things without uh, being in airplane mode. Even though I'm still going to do a tutorial on that for people that don't use my packs, I went ahead and added that already in my packs so that way nobody has to uh, deal with that. So if you made it this far, I appreciate it. Uh, let me know if it works for you. Um, I tried to do this as quick as possible, but there was a lot of problems right now with this version of atmosphere because of this firmware and just wanted to make sure that we are okay this atmosphere is still in pre-release but as far as what we want to use it for it's working just fine i haven't had any issues but yeah let me know if it works for you let me know if it doesn't if it doesn't you can leave a comment down below and i'll try and help you out as best as i can but if it does let me know as well other than that uh, thanks for watching and thank you for those that have stuck around in this channel. I um, don't really post a lot. I don't have a lot of time, but yeah, I appreciate it. Those of you that have donated and supported this channel and all the compliments as well in the comments. I appreciate it. Thank you again. And I'll see you on the next one.